Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kimberly and I teach the Divorcing Parent Education class here in Memphis, Tennessee. Today I'm using Jackson as our guinea pig because we are going to be doing a review for Bitsbox. This is not sponsored and I paid for this Bitsbox with my own money, not your money. All right, so I'll wield the scissors and you can tell me you're gonna like what's inside. Is it already eating? <laughs> All right, so this is the box. It's really sturdy. It didn't come damaged. All right, Jackson, take it away. While he's opening that, if you're wondering, we did a wish haul last week, and I said that I would try on the sweatshirt I normally don't wear, things like this, but anyway, this is a size medium. If you are interested in that, I will put a link down in the description below and you can go back and take a look at us unboxing our wish haul. But this is the sweatshirt from that. It's a little bit big, but better safe than sorry when it comes to wish. All right, so when you open the box, this is what it looks like. Welcome to Bitbox. You're about to code your own app. So it says, <laughs> want to watch a video? We show you how to get started. So welcome to the Bitbox family. This teaches coding because coding is about making stuff and making stuff is empowering and important. So first thing we do, we have to find a computer with a keyboard, open a web, open a web browser, and step three, go to Bitsbox. Dot com bits bits with a s bits box go to bitsbox.com forward slash code all right let's see what all else is in this box so it's these are the instructions it's in the mystery it is a mystery just not to the camera hashtag built on bitsbox share your kids amazing apps with us so maybe when jackson's done building an app he'll share it on the hashtag so, this is like this animal house. Alright, so animal house is what you're going to be building. So when you get your very first bits box, it comes with a really nice binder because this is a monthly subscription if you wanted to continue to do that. And inside the binder is a place for the insert of the month. So in this case, it's animal house. So I'm assuming that's the theme that you're going to be building your app on. It also comes with stickers. Animal House. Animal House stickers. And, oh, this is good. A grown-up guide for me, <laughs> yeah. even though yeah. you're way smarter than me when it comes to coding. And especially after you do this for a few months, you'll be able to build all sorts of apps. So here's the grown-up guide. Introducing coordinates, this looks like very complex to me. So we can save this box if we want. Inside the rest of the box, it's decorated. This app continues on the opposite side of this box. Okay, so there's actually two oh. parts to the app. One is here, we can have like, and one is here. We've gotten the guide open, and it has several cards that you can go through and you can choose one of these and code an app yourself. It also has a spot for these stickers in the binder. It's in a nice plastic sleeve and Animal House, well, let's see, that doesn't really perfect close. Does it really close super well? Anyway, the binder itself though, the binder is nice and it has a magnetic closure, so I mean, I'm not going to be hating on them if the, if the plastic doesn't perfectly go down. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to let Jackson try out Bitsbox and he will come back with his review. Jesse. I've been trying out Bitsbox for a couple of times. I like, made a couple apps for a couple of days. Let's start the questions. How do you log on? All right, here you want to go to 
basebox.com slash code. You've been using the app for a few days. What's your favorite part of the app? My favorite part of the app is that you can follow the instructions in this if you buy it, but it also gives you the freedom to do whatever you want. Like, so you don't have to just follow the instructions. It gives you multiple options. So what kind of options do you have? What can you make the app do? When you click it, it explodes, but you can also make it like free. Basically anything. <laughs> you can do mostly anything. Like one time I put in scream for in a sound and it goes <laughs> There also is like these two little squares in the top that'll show you like commands, sounds, like it'll show you what you can do. This is a monthly subscription. Would you like to continue getting this subscription? It is pretty cool, so probably yes. Jackson is my fifth grader, but I also have Kevin here, who's my eighth grader, and he's also been taking advantage of our monthly subscription to Bitsbox. What do you love about the app? Well, I love how you make whatever you want and like you can kind of create your own. Do you have to have a laptop? Yes, you must have a computer with a physical keyboard. But when you look on the screen, does it look like a laptop or a phone on the actual screen? When you log on, it's the image of a phone. When you're testing out your apps, are you testing them on your actual phone or on the laptop computer screen? On the laptop computer screen. But there's an image of the phone? Yes. All right. Any last minute words of wisdom for people who would like to try out Bitsbox? Um, it is pretty cool. I mean, at first I was like, eh, but then it turned out pretty good. Kevin, would you recommend Bitsbox to middle schoolers who would like to learn about coding? Yes. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up notification and hit the notification bell for more videos just like this. Comment if this was useful and you subscribed.